in the course of doing these uh, exercises, you'll find that some of the questions have uh, letters underneath the radical sign. And we need to deal with those using index laws, using algebra simplification rules, and that kind of thing. Um, one sort of uh, important trick that you'll find um, often used here is that the square root of x squared equals x. So if you can get yourself into a position where you're doing the square root of an x squared or something equivalent, then that's going to uh, help you with your simplification. One thing I will say is that often there's many different ways to simplify things like this and what the answer in the back says and what you're working out says and what your calculator say may all be different, um, but they may all be correct. As long as you're following um, correct algebra rules, you're going to have the correct answer. Uh, up in methods, when you're asked to do stuff involving simplification, it'll say to you, express it in this form, and then you'll know what it's meant to look like. And sometimes that's the trick, because when you put it into your calculator, it's not in that form, so you have to do some work yourself. Anyway, let's look at some of the examples from the book. First one I'm going to go through is this one. It says, simplify 5... root 180 x cubed y to the fifth. Now this is one of the worked examples, but I'm just going to talk it through as well. All right, so we're going to split this up. 5 times root 180 times root x cubed Times, oh, that's a mistake. Y to the fifth, and deal with each piece individually. You can do your uh, simplification stuff to come to the conclusion that root 180 is 6 root 5. For tips on how to do that, refer back to a previous video. Here with this x cubed, here's where the trick's going to come. x cubed is the same as x squared times x, right? And I'll just follow this one through quickly. Split this. Root x squared is x. So we end up here with x root x, okay? And it's going to be the similar sort of deal for uh, the fifth, uh, y to the fifth. y to the fifth is y to the fourth times y. And what you're going to find is the square root of y to the fourth is y squared. And that follows from um, index laws that you might have learned previously as well. Let me just fill in the rest here. All right, where does that leave us? Uh, we need to multiply all the things that are in front of the thirds together. So five, five times six times x times y squared which is 30xy squared. And then underneath square root symbol, we're going to have 5 times x times y. 5xy. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to work through worked example 5c which looks like quite a mess in the working out that they've given. So hopefully I can um, talk a little bit about the working out of it. Question is simplify half root 100 a cubed b squared 
plus AB root 36A minus 5 for A squared B. All right. Looks like a bit of a mess, but let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Um, we should be splitting up the thirds as much as possible. So let's split it all up. Half times root 100, that's going to be easy. Times root a cubed times root b squared. Let's just work this through first and see how simple we can get it. And then let's do um, the this second term and this third term uh, separately. Okay, so half stays as half. Root 100 is 10. Half times 10. Now, root a cubed, the way that they liked to, to do it, is like this. They would say root a squared times a. Root b squared, that's all right, that's easy. That's just b, so that's fine. All we've got left is this root a squared times a to deal with. Half times 10 is 5. That's good. Root a squared times a. Root a squared times root a like this. The root a squared just becomes a. Final cleanup, 5ab root a. Okay, that's the first bit done. Second bit, I think I might do the second bit in green just to keep things neat. All right, ab 36 root a. That's going to work quite nicely because in this first one we've got a root a and here we're going to end up with a root a. So we're going to have like terms. Keep that in mind. Anyway, this is ab times root 36 times root a. Well, that's not too bad. That's ab times 6 times root a, which is 6ab root a. Oh, look at that. That's going to, the blue one and the green one are going to add very easily. All right, let's do the final bit um, here in red. And we're going to say that it's minus 5 times root 4 times root a squared times root b. My writing's gone very small. I'm at the edge of the iPad. Okay. Minus 5 times root 4 is 2. Root a squared is a. Root b stays as root b. It's not going to be as nice as I thought, but it's still not too bad. This is going to be minus 10a root b. So, final thing, adding all these three together. I'll do it in yellow. 5ab root a plus 6ab root a is 11ab root a. And then minus 10a root b, 10a root b. Done deal. Let's double check the worked example to see if it's correct. And yes, it is. Fantastic. We are doing swell. All right. One more, I believe, that I want to go through. And it looks like this. It's to do with multiplication of thirds. It's worked example 6D. Final example. Root 15x to the fifth, y squared, times root 12x squared, y. Uh, these start easily enough. 
all we need to do is combine the two under the square root sign. And then we're going to multiply them together using index laws. Cool. 15 times 12 is 180. I didn't actually know that one. I uh, had to look it up in a previous cut of this video. But now I seem really smart. Uh, x to the 5th times x squared is x to the 7th. y squared times y is y cubed. And I've made my square root symbol too long. So I will redraw it nicely. Okay, root 180, that was 6 root 5. That was from a previous example, so that's good. And then we've got root x to the 7th, and we've got root y cubed. Okay. Let's continue. The way this book likes to split these up, and I don't know if I really agree, but never mind, is something like this. It will go root x squared times x squared times x squared times x because that's going to simplify to x, and that's going to simplify to x, and so on, times root y squared times y. That's quite nice. 6 root 5 times, I'm not going to spend too much time splitting all this up, because that bit is going to be x. That bit is going to be an x. That bit is going to be an x. And the last one is just going to be a root x. And then with the y's, that bit is going to be a y. And the last bit is going to stay as root y. x times x times x at the front here is x cubed. And y root y like that. Final cleanup. 6 x cubed y root x y. Then we check the answer to see if it's correct, and it is. Wonderful. All right, that's it. Good luck with your exercises.